Welcome. We want to take a closer look at this now. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina just returned from a trip to Afghanistan last week. He's the only member of Congress to serve active duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. And, and Senator, on this news of, of the new leader of al-Qaeda, within the last 24 hours, more than two dozen of your colleagues in the Senate have sent a letter to the president asking for a sizable, sustained reduction of U.S. military forces in Afghanistan. Considering the news of the last 24 hours and your trip to Afghanistan, uh, what is the right thing to do? What is the way forward? Uh, to listen to General Petraeus. Uh, because you're a general, is no reason for a senator to completely give over decision making to the general. But this is not any general. This is the man who turned Iraq around. And I've been going to Afghanistan every two or three months for the last couple of years. The surge of forces were needed, it's working. A modest withdrawal is called for this July. This letter by my colleagues would undercut General Petraeus' transition strategy. It would uh, stop momentum. The enemy is on their knees. If we change strategy now, they would be back into the game. Uh, I respect my colleagues, but I think it would undercut General Petraeus' transition plan and would uh, basically empower elements that believe they're about to be defeated in Afghanistan. You say that some of the Republican candidates for president, and you said this in a speech to a think tank yesterday, are not articulating what happens if we win or lose in Afghanistan. They're not doing that correctly. How would you articulate that? I would say that the cost of losing in Afghanistan is far more detrimental uh, than staying in, seeing it through. This is the place we were attacked on 9-11. This is the country that is now beginning to turn around. And this is the place where if we fail, Pakistan is to follow. If we can create an ally out of an old enemy in Afghanistan, leave with an Afghan security force that can beat the Taliban without future intervention by the United States government, that they would be allies in the future politically, economically, and militarily, we've made our own national security much more secure. My question to anyone who's following this debate, how can you allow the Taliban to come back uh, in Afghanistan and did not eventually affect our national security. But it, we it, can beat the Taliban. There seems to be, and we should point out to our viewers, there's a difference between the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. We were just talking about the new leadership in Al-Qaeda. You're shaking your head no. You don't think there's a difference between Al-Qaeda and Tal the Taliban? There are elements of the Taliban that can reconcile with the Afghan people, renounce violence, come back into their constitution. The people who are killing American soldiers are not Al-Qaeda members. They're Taliban who want to take Afghanistan over, make it a radical Islamic republic where you blow up statues of Buddha and you kill women in soccer stadiums. We're about to defeat those people and replace them with Afghans that would live in peace with us. The Afghan army and police are getting better by the day, but the elements who are trying to kill our people and the Afghans in uh, Afghanistan are not going to be reformed. They have to be defeated. In response to the debate that we're hearing over Afghanistan, and again going back to some of the Republican candidates, you have said that some of the conversation is shallow when it comes yes. to Afghanistan. Are you considering a run for the presidency? Would you consider that job? Not at all. I am considering to reunite what I think has been the national security Ronald Reagan wing of the Republican Party. How can you allow Afghanistan to go back into the abyss? If we withdraw our troops too soon and lose the momentum on the battlefield and the Taliban regain momentum, how does that affect Pakistan? I think that's a death blow to Pakistan. Moderation has to be supported where you can find it. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. But General Petraeus has come up with a plan. I want to be in a party that says to radical Islam, we're going to fight you and no passage of time will protect you. I am so glad bin Laden was killed. I wish it had not taken so long, but killing bin Laden is just one thing to make us safe. Standing by those in Afghanistan who would fight the Taliban in their own backyard makes us safer. We can't kill our way to safety. We need to help those who will fight the terrorists in their own backyard. That's what Ronald Reagan would have done. That's what I want my party to be, the party that will defeat radical Islam and stand by those who will fight them in their own backyard. Well, Senator Graham, it's nice to have you on with us today as we continue to follow the news out of Afghanistan, and we look forward to having Thank you, you back. Uh, important to distinguish the, uh, meant there, John, between the Taliban, Af the Al Qaeda, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. A lot of relationships there to pay attention. I, I thought to. he had a lot of eloquent things to say there, mm -hmm. that's for sure.